Hey, we are oh back. My God. Hello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so good to have you back for another Carvers and Creators, a weekly demonstration and discussion with pumpkin carvers, sculptors, and multi-talented artists from around the world. First, we ask that you give us a like and a follow on the platform you're watching us on. If you're a new follower to Carvers and Creators, please smash that like button, subscribe. We have uh, some great guests every week. We want you to be here for it. Please let us know in the comments where you're watching from and if you have any questions for our Carvers and our special guests. Let's meet the Carvers. Let's do it. Hey, I know that guy. Hey! He's an artist and sculptor from Boston, Massachusetts. He's a judge on season three of Outrageous Pumpkins on the Food Network. It's Paul Dever. Welcome. <laughs> Yay! Happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy welcome, holidays. Welcome. Welcome. Good to see you, Polly. Great Good to, to have you here. Good to be seen. Next, he's a multimedia sculpture artist from Tucson, Arizona, and a finalist on Halloween Wars 2019 on the Food Network, Matt Harper. Bienvenidos. Hello, everyone. How are you? <laughs> Our guest tonight is an artist, body painter from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, making her fourth appearance on Carvers and Creators. Please, wel please welcome Alexandra Bastien. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. We you know, I was going to mix in a uh, tattoo artist, which we will find out very soon. Um, what, what you have here. So you have a great setup and we were going to see some, uh, oh wow, some live demonstration of some tattoo art and uh, I can't wait. My name is oh, Michael Mondragon. Oh. I'll be running the show, moderating comments and chiming in from time to time. Merry Christmas. Holy <laughs> you, you nasty little monkey. Holy oh, shit. Man, somebody's been naughty. <laughs> <laughs> let's check out our scopes from the last two weeks we actually had a recorded episode last week so oh. uh, the carving subject was smug misfit toy so, yeah that's a that's a i don't care bear <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> the, fact, the fact that that's made out of of, of butternut squash is just mind-boggling how in the hell that paul that is one of my favorite. I, when I saw that, I'm like, "All right, screw it. I'm just gonna throw away what I was working on." This, this, <laughs> is, I love it. And the, the, the wow. whole thought, and the, fact, the fact that you put this together, like you started with sculpting on it without any real, you know, we we had misfit toy as the as the thing, as the uh, what the wheel decided, and I was blown away. I'm like, "What am I ever gonna pick?" But this was epic. I, I'm a huge fan, Paul. This one's awesome. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I turned it around. Remember, I turned it around like. A half hour in, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. And then I just kept trying to figure out, you know, playing names on toys from when you were kids that would make them a yep. misfit toy. And then I was like, oh, shit, that works. <laughs> I, I, I have to carve a Care Bear. But it looks more like a gummy bear, doesn't it? Like if you saw the gummy bear cartoon as a kid. Oh, a little bit. Like yeah, I hadn't oh, thought yeah. It, it, it. It reads so well. Every, every bit of it reads so well. So the good. tough decision was to actually put the the tattoo on his stomach in uh grease pencil because i was gonna cut it in to, to create the shadow yeah. and i tried it i tried it on a separate one just to see the text and if the light wasn't hitting it perfect it just it looked carved in it looked silly so oh. that was that, that was the toughest part was painting essentially yeah so it's, a, it's a grease pencil okay yeah i yeah. use it when i'm doing uh if, it works. yeah works any kind well. of commissions yeah it's, it holds so it's pretty let that be a there's your lesson for the uh, night kids. If you want to draw on fruit <laughs> that's been peeled, use a grease pencil. That's crazy. Yeah, I love it. yeah it, it looks like sponge cake uh, or uh, uh, and I also like the the Tupac, the Thug Life uh, across the chest, uh, across you know, the belly. You know, yeah. he, don't, he don't care. You know, he's got 99 problems. <laughs> but, you know. So, so good. good. Uh, here's Matt. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is my, my likeness of um, instead of because because remember they said instead of a Jack in the Box he was a Charlie in the Box and I was like well what other Charlie is there and it's like Charles Manson so <laughs> so he's, a, he's so I I pictured somebody twisting the thing and hearing Helter Skelter and then his head popping out and that was kind of my idea but, <laughs> but yeah it's um it's, but then to make him smug I mean it was a challenge from the beginning but uh, yeah I, I, it's it's we'll call it a caricature likeness looking kind of guy I guess. We'll call it. 
Oh my gosh. It's, it's great. So cool. I got a lot of feedback from, from local around here from a lot of people that I know artists and such that they loved it, man. This is, I don't know why Charles Manson hits a, <laughs> hits a note with them, but they really like this one. And I do too. I think it's great. The handle is a nice touch. Everybody always forgets about that handle and it's the little things. It's exactly. You got, you got to twist that thing. And then, uh, yep. Did, I should, and, and knowing you did the, um, the, um, Helter Skelter. So I wrote, I, I carved in Helter Skelter and I fought so much with getting the lighting on there to make it look yeah. like it was a, a thing. So yeah, I, I'm grease pencil, Paul, I'm calling you next time for that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got about 1400 of them. I always put my hand in a box and come out and find the ones I wasn't looking for because my hand's covered. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, these are, uh, these are pumpkins thanks. and butternut squash, uh, for those new here. Um, and they so, go bad quick. They go bad. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. The next day they look very different. <laughs> well, I work in pixels and vectors. Uh, here is my, uh, <laughs> 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 that might be my favorite. <laughs> oh my God. And, uh, that yes, is he awesome. is, uh, he is barely legal. So, nice. <laughs> done, <sir. laughs> so I find, throw that in there. It's, um, a death, uh, what was it? Um, Metal Blade uh, Records put this out. Um, okay. So yeah, so we have so many here. So let me let me let me flip through this. Uh, so last week we had a recorded episode, and the um, subject was a surprised alien. So here is Paul's uh, from last from uh, technically last week, although it was recorded recorded episode. Yeah, right. But yeah. Uh, amazing, amazing. So hey. how many squash was this? Because I was like trying to figure out. One, I can see at least three. Um, one, Four. Two. it was, it was two, two. Oh my God. It okay. You two. cut him in half. Okay. Okay. I see. I kind of see. That. Yeah. Well, with all that weight, he, it was actually on a, uh, this is how weird it got. I had to put the spike in that was screwed oh. onto the table. To oh, support okay. To hold it up. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. It was another one where I didn't know what to do. And I was just sick of doing the head because we could, we, Matt, you know we know how to do heads, so it was kind of oh well, shit. I gotta add something. I've done. We've done a bunch of aliens on the show, you know, thanks to the wheel. Yeah. So, Amazing. But yeah, I wanted to do like the hand, like, and it bummer the light didn't catch the hand as well because there was a lot of detail on like. In the I can veins see the, and the, the veins and the, and the bones. Yeah, it's it's, it's that was it's supposed to be read. like the the focal point, but it totally reads absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, Amazing. Be surprised. Yeah. There's oh my god like the under chin. <laughs> under chin is amazing it makes me want to make the face like the oh, oh he was, wow. he was, so i had so i had this perfect shape kind of like um i don't know you can see the outline of it but but like it and it, it read to me like it was just like little kid but alien so the best part about doing an alien is it's completely up to your own interpretation so you can whatever the hell you want so you can make a nose you can make whatever you want but um, but like I just wanted to want him to be surprised, and I, so I so I all those little wrinkles in the neck and stuff were just like I I lost myself and I'm trying to make him be look uh, make him a little bit extra confused or scared or whatever. Yeah, well done, sir. I love it. <laughs> ah, dear, thank you. Super Damn cool. It. Yeah. And here here's my offering: the surprise alien. Um, he's actually has a, a, a surprise birthday party, as you see in the. <laughs> And the balloons in his eye. <laughs> so uh, one of the Damn things, it, Mickey. these keep getting better and better. I swear to God, oh, that's that's great. Great. Uh, nice work on the uh, reflection too. That's a thank you. That was, that was very difficult actually, and I had to uh, I did do a lot of work in there, but uh, it, it all turned out great. I wanted to uh, make mention of something that happened three weeks ago. The uh, subject was crying lady. And our guest Ahu from Turkey oh, right. actually oh, yeah. uh, put this out. This was a crying Fantastic. lady. And she finally oh, got God. this out. Yeah, I got okay. it quick. Mm. Really quick. I'm head over heels about this because she she like took the challenge and, and carved along with us, but with clay. And then and like when we spin the wheel, it's like anxiety machine for us. And so we well, you guys will see it in a minute. But when it comes to like a guest doing it and and doing it in another medium to to, to find like. She decided she was going to do a mushroom shape, and then a, and then a, a female mushroom crying, and, and like every little detail. And if you see other pictures of this, you'll you'll see that she just went crazy on all these different uh, directions with detail. I, I love so it. Good. I mean, such a yeah. Fan. 
So she yeah. created this on the show. So, um, Alexandra, I'd like to reintroduce you to the fourth member of Carvers and Creators responsible for our carving subject tonight. It uh -oh. is the hollow wheel, the center oh, no. spinner. And as always, Paul will tell you more about it right now. Here we go. Exciting. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, happy Thursday. Welcome back. Okay, so the wheel. Alexander, you remember oh. the wheel. But for everybody oh, yeah. new to watching the show, welcome. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to spin this thing twice. The first time we spin it is going to be the character to which we have to carve without any preparation. And then the second spin will be the emotion that we have to apply. So right. our choices tonight, kids, here we go. We have Yeti, Santa, very festive, old elf, Krampus, pirate, aquatic, insect, guest choice, and troll. So have a guest choice, have a choice ready in case, okay? Right. Second spin will be smug, jolly, embarrassed, guest choice once again, insane, drunk, creepy, nervous, robust, or clueless. Oh boy. Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, shaking off the cobwebs. Here we go. Big spin. Please don't. What did I tell you? <laughs> it's a yes. pirate. It is a pirate. Just, I didn't tell anybody. But before we went on, we replaced the subject the week before we take it off the wheel. So last week was the misfit toy. So right. it landed and on the same what? section. And guess what Paul's going to do? Paul's going to put it in a different position. There you go. So that it doesn't land on the same thing again. It landed on the same thing again. <laughs> Does anybody else find that very strange? Okay, I'm calling the police. I'm going to have the wheel exercise. I'm going to have a priest here in an hour. Yeah, to, yeah to we, need, we need Mojo. to have somebody at the wheel factory come and well, uh, recalibrate this bastard. What, what, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I'm going to put little pieces of clay on the spots, the opposite of where I want it to land. Wow. It yeah. did drunk. land on drunk pirate. So, I mean, oh. it's, there you go. it's better than like a, an embarrassed pirate, which would just be. I love this because I, I fit. Like, this is what oh, I'm doing, guys. It, She's it, almost seems like, it almost seems like cheating in a way because you, <laughs> you are tattooing a drunk pirate. I not know. you, sir. I, I'm not calling you a drunk pirate. I'm saying that she's, <laughs> on, on team. she's got a human corpse right there that no, he's alive, I think. No, All right. Alive. You're good? Yeah, yeah. He's good. He's, like, good. he's good. Perfect. This is insane. By the way, this is completely insane. Mickey, I know you're gonna talk about it, but I'm I'm so enamored. So Alexandra being the fourth time on, every single time she's been on, and you guys go back awesome. and watch all the episodes because you're dumb if you don't. It, the thing, the crazy thing about this is now she's like upping the game. We are car we are carving human flesh at this point, um, <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and we're gonna see. You guys are gonna be able to see it live, and, which is we're gonna be carving these kind of things. She's gonna be. She's got a human being, which is anyway. <laughs> I'll, make you, I'll turn it back over to you. I'm just still yeah. so if you're carving or creating with us, we're going to give you five minutes to get all of your tools together, whatever you're going to be creating with. Uh, meanwhile, we do a tradition here. Uh, we go around and see what our carving oil is uh, for tonight. So I'm going to start with um, uh, Alexander. What what are you? Uh, what do you have for tonight? Uh, I know that you're probably not having a adult beverage, but you're having uh, something else. I'm about to stab someone. I'm not going to drink live. <laughs> uh, the best Canadian juice. This is coffee by Tim Hortons, and it's the best thing ever. I would like uh, to be sponsored. <laughs> Tim, if you're listening, yes. uh, Tim and the, and the Horton uh, family, please call her up. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Matt, what do you got? Um, okay, so in Arizona, there's a place called Oso Brewery. And it's I'm aware of that. Yeah, yes. okay. and I found a really cool one. It's called Popsicle Blonde. So it's so again, I'm I'm not a huge IPA fan. If you guys haven't checked yet, but so this is a, a golden lager, but it's got some kind of raspberry and lemon flavor in it. So if nothing else, I will be wearing um, a, a sanitary napkin in women's panties for this. No, no, this should be oh very delightful. <laughs> this should be very good. Oh um, well, and uh, and it's, even, it's even got like kind of like a, a pink color to it. So there you go. Anyway, wow. cheers. Nice. Oh, what do you got? 
Well, can I just say I don't like when you steal my thunder, Matt? That's what I'm supposed to say to you. <laughs> I got nothing now. <laughs> I just hope it's a light flow. You've always got something, Paul. Sure. I know. And I was on mute, too. I was like, <laughs> Damn it, mother. I sabotaged myself for once. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be having a Blizzard of 78. This is from Wormtown Brewery. It's, usually, it's a seasonal beer, obviously, but it's a very famous Blizzard from the Boston area, uh, Massachusetts, yeah, nice. really. Yeah. And uh, it's an English-style brown ale, and it's super-duper tasty. So Wormtown Brewery. I'd like to be sponsored as well. Yes. Here. Yes. yes. And, and, and you're almost sponsors. about to expl- experience the blizzard of 2022. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I keep if I keep drinking these, I'm gonna have a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Maybe AA will sponsor us. You know. Yeah. yeah right. Hi, my name's Paul. I, I, <laughs> I, I carved too many pumpkins. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, I, I'd love a sponsor too, uh, for me, for many more reasons, uh, like as we've discussed. <laughs> so, uh, I have a seasonal beer too. This is I, the yearly. We, I have this. I've had this for the last maybe four or five years. This is from Unsung Brewery. It's the Saint Nick Ardoodle. Yeah, I remember that. Imperial oh. uh, Blonde Ale. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy yes, Kwanzaa. Merry Happy Cheers. Boxing Day. All the holidays. All the holidays. Yeah. Happy Boxing Day for our Canadian <laughs> pal. You're the best. Exactly. So cheers to all of our creations. Um, okay. Now we can get into it. I want to see what's going on with Alexandra. This, nope, you can't this is now. absolutely insane. So tell it's us. Really what- stunning. Stunning. <laughs> Amazing. I have started like Jack Sparrow. Very cool. It's Jack, and I'm tattooing a skull right now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna try during the show to finish like this part here. Like it's the skull representing Jack Sparrow and the Pirates. So I'm gonna try to finish while talking to you. I don't know, but I'm gonna do my best. So yeah, that's all we can ask for. You know, that's it. I'm so, sure you'll so be great. Just so we're clear, you're making, you're, you're embellishing, you're doing something more on the skull tonight, or are you doing more Jack Sparrow tonight? The skull. Well, I, I have I have enough details done on Jack now, and I need to work on the skull. So I need to work on right here, like this space here. Show you like in an hour how it went, but uh, let's hope okay. for the best. <laughs> Oh, no, hope for the best is, is an understatement. I've seen your work, and Mickey will show us some of your amazing work. Now we know you for the body painting. We know you for your your beautiful, like classical painting, and everything else. So how did you how did you like kind of jump into tattooing? When when did this all start? But I always wanted to be a tattoo artist, but I was so scared, and I was like, I cannot like do this on people. What if I mess up something? <laughs> what if something goes wrong? So I was really scared for the past 15 years. Um, but during the pandemic, I was like, okay, let's do this. Let's try to find the right apprenticeship. Um, and I did it. And I worked too hard. This is the hardest thing I have ever tried. learned. Oh my God, you, you don't understand. Like, it's very, very difficult. It, it looks easy, right? Easy to be a tattoo, but it's not. I don't know. It's it's a whole new world. A whole new world. No, but it, like, <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot you could sing too. And makeup and visual art. So it's like it was the biggest challenge of the year. But I love where I'm. I am now. Like I think it's good. I think uh, I've worked really hard. I will evolve, improve myself in the past, in the next years for sure. <laughs> But uh, I'm happy. Like I, I love what I'm doing. This is the best job ever. Like I, I'm really excited by this new journey, um, and I have amazing clients. Like how can I be that lucky? Like this guy here is giving me like his leg here, this one here, the back, the arms. Like I'm gonna just create a masterpiece on his entire body. So this is amazing. I really have the best people around me to help me achieve my goals and like create masterpiece 
I'm trying to create masterpiece, but uh, this is like the best thing. Like I'm really happy. Can you feel how excited I am? Like I'm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's coming. It's. <clears throat> Yeah, it's coming out of the, it's coming out of the woodwork. I, I think one of the things that, that I love about your you you go to every medium with such enthusiasm and, and excitement and passion. I mean, when you were doing murals or when you were doing the body paint or you're doing your own body paint, and we were you know visiting with you and stuff, you you had the same kind of crazy passion, and now you're doing something that's like permanent on people. As is it is it daunting to you to knowing that, that people are going to walk around with your art on them, or is it just exciting to you? This is crazy. People gonna go like with my art. This is like this is, this is such an awesome. I, I'm just like overwhelmed. I just don't have like I don't have enough time to do everything that I love. Like I love doing murals. I love doing body paint. I love doing face painting. I love doing so so many things. But like tattoos, it took like my entire year. I had to learn so much and do my apprenticeship and. I put all my heart and efforts to be like the best that I could be. And oh yeah, I'm excited. I, this is it. Like, I think I'm going to be um, fulfilled yeah. with this tell, for a while. Because I'm really, tell, really tell, us about, tell us about your apprenticeship. It, 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 was, it was very daunting at first, even though you're very talented at what you do. It was very daunting at first. Am I correct? Oh yeah, it's hard. And I, you have to practice on fake skin. And then at first you have to just work in a shop and learn from your masters and people around you. And then you get to tattoo on fake skin. Guys, you should have seen my first fake skin. Like it was so bad. I cried for like an entire week. I was like, how can I be that bad? Like it's impossible. So I worked even harder and harder and harder. And I took the master classes and I wanted to so it's the hardest thing ever like why why did I pick that but like people know me for my work in body painting and so I'm like I have to do colors I have to do big things like <laughs> so I had to learn practice every day like I really work seven days a week like since a year and a half I don't take break like I'm just m managing my time and I'm working so hard to just be the best wow. I've worked really, really hard like you People don't understand, like, <laughs> but it was so much fun, and I'm so happy to be um, to be here, like, doing this right now. This is this is crazy because every time I, I've been on a show, I did something different. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, yes. so it's fun. You're so, you're so multi talented. It's it's insane. Uh, I actually you sent me a, a video that I wanted to play that shows a bit of your tattoo work, and I I put them all together. So uh, let's take a look at that right now. I'm not, I'm gonna do this real quick, but let's. Uh, oh, this yeah. is what I was. Hey. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Oh my God, wow. Stan Lee, this is insane. I, I holy shit. Shit. Yeah. I want to see. I don't want you guys to see the final results of everything because I'm gonna be posting everything in January. So this yeah. is just like progress things. <laughs> oh my god! But these aren't these aren't these aren't normal tattoos. These aren't like uh, like uh, you know, you see like getting in, getting, yeah, getting a skull on your leg. This is this is epic, beautiful portraits. And I think that's your style, right? Uh, um, like realistic yes. portraiture. Like that's right there what we're looking at. It's, on a leg is what, right there yeah. it's, this is it's like photorealistic it's insane yeah this is what i love to do so but this is just the first session so it's not finished of course you're gonna see the final results in january but of this course, is i love you man so it's like it's it's my passion this is what i love to do full realism portrait and colors like this is the best thing yeah I love Amazing. Jack. Who doesn't? Yeah, touch you you got to see the people like Sarah and everybody coming out of the woodwork, complimenting you on this. And and I know oh, that um, you've got a you got a long long list of people who are are signed up to 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 spend time with you to get the, the your their your ink on them. Is that um, is that kind of also? Except I, I recall when we talked yesterday, you're saying a lot of them are international. That they're flying in. And and staying nearby just so they can get their you know ten hours with you to get their amazing work. Is this 
is that kind of also part of the plan? I mean, I, I imagine it's just like exciting as hell, right? Yes, this is exciting. And I, I'm so like, I'm so happy that so many people are trusting me. Uh, but I will, I, what I love to do is like entire legs, uh, full sleeves, you know, this is my thing. So it takes time to do full color realism. It takes hours and hours. So, but soft and gentle so people are like able to stay here for six to 12 hours uh for one session um but i know it's 12 it's, hours is, i know i know it's crazy but this guy here is like one of the best like he, he's never complaining he's just let me do my work and my magic so it's like super cool for me uh i can't wait to show you the final result with the marvel sleeves that i did it's super um but this is geek stuff. Like I really love conventions. You guys, you, you know, like I've been doing body painting and performances in different conventions since so many years. So I love doing geek stuff. Like I'm into Star Wars and sci-fi, Marvel, DC, uh, like Jack Sparrow. Like it's amazing. Um, we're gonna create like Indiana Jones on the front of the leg here. So it's like very pop culture. <laughs> So excited. Well, oh. pa Paul, and, Paul and I and Mickey are nothing if we're not pop culture. So this is like right up our alley anyway. Yes. Completely. Yeah. Yes, sir. And, and any and everything you're talking about, like all these different subjects, we, we're like enamored by. When you, but I, I got to jump back really quick. I'm going to look at that. Jesus Christ. When I, uh, to the 12 hours part. So you're talking about you're, <laughs> you're under the knife or, you know, however you, you know, what's the right under the needle. Under the needle for 12 hours. Are you kidding me? That is, it, I mean, I know that's a lot of dedication, but the amount of colors you pump into like one tattoo is just like staggering to me. Imagine that. I can use one. like Whoa, two, 30 different colors for one tattoo for sure. And I have oh. to mix them all, all together. So, but we just take breaks and we eat, we have fun, we chat. Like it's just, it's, um, yeah. I want to make sure. Yeah. The client here have a good experience and have fun because they're gonna remember this forever. No? Yeah. yeah. It has to be fun. Well, so usually people are really like chill out and relaxed, and I'm just doing my work. And yeah, it's not that bad. I know it looked really like intense when I say ten hours, but um, it's not that bad. I swear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's just, it's no. Like, no, it's like, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you, you can tell, you can say, you can say 12 hours is not bad for a person like, you know, uh, me, because I've had a couple of tattoos, but Paul and Mickey are, are both uh, are tattoo virgins. So the, 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 <laughs> yeah. under a needle for that amount of time has got to be a little bit weird for them, I imagine. Yeah. 27 wow. hours, uh, Jeanette says that she, she had two sleeves. Oh my God. Wow. <gasps> True, it's, she's one of my clients. Amazing, uh, amazing, yes. <laughs> 27, 27 hours. Well, that's uh, not that. Kid, that's not a row. I, I am assuming, right? Hopefully, please tell me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I can't. That's Yaron turns to hamburger. A lot after of coffee. Life. That's a lot of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but like my. my personal assistance and my partner Sarah is amazing and I like I think I maybe we're maybe 45 hours on her arm sleeve 45 oh my God. it's gonna be amazing but like yeah it, it it takes a while to do all the details and the colors and everything so but um I have the best clients so I cannot complain uh, I can't wait to do more in 2023 um oh uh, it's it's fun I love my job. I love my life. <laughs> Pretty awesome. So I'll, I'll ask you a question because this has always intrigued me because you, you're you're so good at, at the body painting part and, and I've and not only that you you create yourself into I mean, like an art two sh a couple of the shows you've done you you're, you're two other people you were you were Marlon Brando and you were Celine Dion and, <laughs> and, and you created you created personas and, the, and it was yeah. wonderful. It's like you acted the anyway. It, all great. So do you find um, that when you're doing your tattooing, are you doing some kind of, are you mimicking that kind of, because I know there's layers, right, to what you do from a body painting perspective. Are you doing those same type of layers? And in, in, uh, does that, that equate at all in, in, in or no. is it not? 
thing. Like when I do, and, and I'm going to, I know I didn't do many body paintings this year because I, I was really focusing on my skills with tech and just make sure I was okay, fine. And, but um, it's the same technique that I'm using. I'm a fine art artist. Okay. This is how I, I have studied like everything. So this is the way I'm painting murals. It's different layers and layers and layers. This is how I do my face painting. This is how I yeah. do my body art. So this is the way I tattoo, but you have to manage differently because it's a skin, right? Like you cannot hurt someone like 25 layers of, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it's, you have to be careful. So it's a little different, but it's, it looks the same because I want to have the, the same look. I want to have the same finished, you know, like. I want to people recognize my work when I do murals or body painting or tattoos. Like I want to make sure that it's all the same vibe and colorful um, yeah. aspect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. To yeah, I know you, you, human skin is very different than like a, a um, I don't know, a, a canvas or, or even your own something you're painting on for for layers like that. So I'm assuming. You, yeah, like you said, you can't do 10 layers on the human skin of ink like that. So, okay. No. But it's the same kind of technique, though. You're still blending and shading and stuff a lot of the same way, right? Yep. You have to be smart with the colors that you're using. So, usually you can pass on like three or four times, but after that, you're going to create damage and you're going to hurt like the person. So, um, oh. it's just like a to put the color, but like, it took me a while to figure it out. Like I was, I had like a hard time at first. Um, and I had to practice on a real pig, like a real pig skin, like real oh. on, yeah. <laughs> so, because it's almost the same skin as human. Um, and you have like maybe 90 minutes before like it smells really bad and you just oh. like, yeah. So you have, to, when you have like a pig skin, you have to be quick, but oh. you have like 90 maybe two hours to practice. And so I tried to, uh, I, I've learned the hard way. <laughs> I did so many mistakes, uh, but now I think I, I'm good. I, I think it's not that bad. I, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. Yeah, I really, I'm really happy with the results because it looks like my body painting. It looks like- it, Yeah, uh, totally does. absolutely. Totally. And, 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 is, and speaking of that, so let, let's, I mean, so this could all be tattoos if you wanted it to be. It was just absolutely stunning. Yeah, but this is the style. Like I, I was doing my body arts like I was doing tattoos on people. Like it's it's bizarre. I was meant to be a tattoo artist for sure. Um, but this one was pretty cool to do. This is one of the very few that I did in 2022. Um, but I was like fully painted and my partner painted the back. Uh, so it was like, it was fun. It was like 20 hours of body painting. <laughs> wow. Jeez. So, you, that, so that you, one that you, you had to sit up in the chair. So we talked about that before. Well, when, when you're fully body painted, you cannot be sitting on a chair. So you have to be like, uh, it's, it's bizarre. <laughs> you, you're kind of naked in the room with your assistant and like the people that is, that are working with you and you have to just like, it, 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 it's it's something very bizarre and particular. This is the way to do so because, because my partner is like painting my, my so I can't be sitting. I have to paint here and then she's painting there and then I'm painting there and it's very complicated. But I love to be my own model because I can manage my own energy. I know mm. when I'm tired, but I'm never tired. So I not say that. <laughs> yeah. That's it. But You're I, a ball of energy. I it, love it. Fun. Yeah, we did a good job. It was hard. It was hard to do that. So, um, great. So That's fantastic. The, these these are always amazing. And Paul and I and, and Mickey, we, we've talked about this a million times on our show. It's like, like the, the creativity behind each part of this. I know that you know they take a whole lot of time, and and you have a partner doing your back because that would probably be hard to do on your own. You know, a mirror and a yes. really long. I, I don't discount her. She could probably do it. She probably could. I, yeah, exactly. I, 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 
it's better when my my partner is with me and she's like helping me painting everything yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> i don't well, put it past her mirrors like it's kind of complicated but like i did a lot it, it, and, and i painted like the front and it was fun it was fun i love batman i love like it was a, a cool tribute to do the photographer was amazing we had an amazing team when uh we shoot that so so much fun <laughs> so, so have you ever gotten to meet Ewan McGregor like four times in a couple of days or anything? You should know yeah. that. Am I lucky? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I met, I met my idol this year like four times in the same month. Hi, <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> I would like to meet one day, guys. It's it's a it's a goal. It's a dream. I hope it's gonna happen this year. Yeah. Wait, who do you want to meet? Matt and Mike, like you guys, come on. I, I, I guarantee that it will not happen this year. Oh, oh yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but 2023, I can almost guarantee that it will. Because you, you, uh, there's, yeah, there's a couple opportunities here. There's a and lot of opportunities. Yes. I think we can make it happen. All of us together in the same boot in a convention. Hmm. Oh, get it. It might be illegal. We might have to find out if that's actually legal to have that much. <laughs> yeah. like, I I've got too much Fun. energy in one place. We're gonna all, have to all that talent and in one place, a nuclear blast uh, would have it's, less impact than all of that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, know. let's manifest this um, opportunity. We're going to make it happen. I'm praying that I'm going to one day and that we're going to just be together and do something like for real. Because we've been friends since like three years now. Can you imagine? Like yeah. three years. Yeah, three years. Well, yeah. Almost yeah. Seven. Seven. three years. It yeah. feels, like, feels like 11. Old friends. Yes. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. You're, 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 still, our, you're, you're our best still, virtual friend. Yes. And yes. still like one of the most fun, favorite people you could possibly have on the show. Um, <laughs> I don't decorate favorite. for anybody. No. That, I, 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 can, I can vouch for that. Yeah, I, <laughs> you wouldn't even know what year it is. <laughs> I might adjust. If it ain't broke, you don't fix it. But I, you go. I'll call it up for you. No, we're throwing that out to the universe. 2023, yeah. the synergy of talent, uh, creativity, collaboration will come together. Hmm. Monster Palooza? I, I don't know. Could happen. Could happen. <laughs> what, what is, can you tell us about that show? Like, what is this? The monster. Uh, what is this convention? Can you tell us? Oh, uh, Paul, about Paul, please tell us. Oh. Oh, am I yeah. the Pasadena, yeah. the Pasadena please, tour guy? Pasadena. I've been there once. Little Monster lady Palooza, from Pasadena. Though, I'll tell you from a fanboy perspective because I okay. I've known about Mark Palooza from a long for a long time through social media because I'm on the East Coast and it's in California, where yeah. most of the industry professionals are that created the monsters for most of the movies that we love and cherish to this day. Freddy Krueger, Predator, you know, you name it. All all the guys that work on every character you've ever seen in a movie go there and basically show off it's the coolest thing because they're all you know they're all great guys and all friends with each other so it's like it's the disneyland of monster <laughs> makers is really what it is you get to see some of the most amazing talented people and they bring some of the some of these amazing creations with them uh, sometimes you can even buy one if you want. They do makeup displays from the top talent and the top makeup effects companies do complete replicas of movie characters, and they're walking around. And then there's celebrities from horror movies coming around, like Robert England is going to be there. Freddy Krueger is going to be there this year, and, yeah. yep. and 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 will be there. So I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I digress. <laughs> you know, because nothing, nothing us, says we'll a monster convention like two. Middle age, two middle aged men carving, and a third one filming them. Yes, I've seen that movie. <laughs> and, and, porn hub. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's also um, 
Pasadena is Los Angeles adjacent Hollywood. So yeah. there's a lot of people that, you know, it can attract and all these people love getting together and talking shop and cosplay. It's, yeah. it's, it's Oh, that, that, yeah. Tell, t- Matt, tell, tell about that. Yeah. yeah. So, so when we were there this last year, we were just blown away. The three of us had a booth and we we're sitting there kind of doing our show live and having a blast and, and carving away and just laughing and, and, um, and it, it really, we had no other agenda than just to be there and have fun. But we would turn around because Paul and I are usually backs to the to the aisle while we're carving away, so people can see over our shoulders, see what we're making. And then we look around. And I'm like, oh my god, that is the uh, something out of like Hollywood. Again, these people are amazing at doing these cosplay. Th- I mean, got every yeah. possible character from every every horror movie you can imagine is there, and they go over the top, and they're they're just stunning. And like we I, we got pictures, all of us got pictures with. Like, um, like everybody Rob from, Berman. yeah, from Chucky to, uh, you know, Rob Berman had like people coming over and, and meeting with us and, and Ted Haynes. And I mean, all these amazing sculptors and artists and stuff that anyway, it was it, V Neil was there for a little while. And V Neil you know, did the, the penguin from Batman. She did a complete makeup workup of it. it it's, oh yeah. It, yeah. You can't even describe it. it the, it's hard to. Hard to even really, yeah. Exactly. And the celebrities that are just walking around because, like, Mike said, it's right next to it's it's there. It's in L.A. So yeah. John Favreau was just walking around, right? Yeah. <laughs> just right. hanging out with the family, walking around. Yeah, yeah. There's people signing autographs. Uh, in fact, it, it, when you come to Monster Palooza, you actually have to fight the gauntlet. There's actually like a ring around the whole uh, Monster Palooza, so you have to get past that of of people signing autographs and uh, you know all these people from all these great A and B movies uh, uh, of horror uh, films. So like, but it's 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 fantastic. They're like, oh my god, like you. There's so much to see that you literally don't have time unless you go to the to all three days. Yeah, that became evident because I don't think we saw it all. And we were there for three days. We yes. were at the convention. Yeah, yeah. We, so, you really had to force yourself out of the booth because it's like I haven't even walked around this <laughs> side of the event. It's unbelievable. Yep, I'm coming out of the booth. <laughs> it really is. If you're a fan of art, especially monster art and, and movie movie magic, it's it's literally Disneyland. It's yeah. It's so the people cool. who made it the are people that made it there. Yeah. And they're the yeah. most humble, nicest people. You have to like pull it out of them. Yes. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was a long time ago. Yeah, I worked on Terminator and yeah, yeah, the thing. And, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no, no, whatever. No big deal. Gremlins. <laughs> no big deal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, guys, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to be there. Yeah. All right. You're in. You're in. You can't go back. <laughs> it's like a verbally just... binding agreement. Hi. <laughs> Okay, now hang on. I'm just going to pause for a second because she is in probably the most amazing. Mickey, zoom in on on Alexandra's uh, background there. So she's she, she painted everything you see behind her there. Like okay. you got Marvel, you got Marvel DC, you got Spider Man, you got uh, and, and there's there's I'm sure all around you've got Star Wars, everything else. Tell I'm me about it. it. I'm gonna when I will be. I think I'm gonna be finished in maybe two weeks. Uh, but everything is painted like. First of all, every character is like every people that I met in my life from the guys from Supernatural, from Johnny Depp, from Star Wars actors, like everybody that helped me in my career are painted on my walls. And then everything like in love with like Indiana Jones and um, The Matrix and Keanu Reeves. And yeah, we have like Hogwarts right here. I'm going to have some stuff about Harry Potter because. Oh, my God. Yeah. We read the books when we were young, so yeah. So uh, everything's gonna be painted. The ceilings, everything's gonna be painted. So um, I think people are gonna be like enjoying their time while being tattooed like that. So yeah, I'm trying to create like a, a nice studio for them. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Where is wow. the um, Carvers and Creators section? Of the, this, the- it's on the ceiling. What? It's, on the, it's yeah. under, under the carpet. <laughs> on the bathroom floor <laughs> <laughs> you missed no i didn't 
surprised if there's a pumpkin somewhere. Like, you, wait, wait for it. You're not ready, you know. <laughs> when we come up for our matching um, ankle tattoos, we'll. Please. Please. They, they, they drop from face tattoos to ankle tattoos. <laughs> yeah. So like a camel, you know, like on my toe or something. No. So ironic. Camel, camel toe. So Paul, um, question. So sure. when, when we when we get our when we get our matching ones, um, <laughs> should we just should we do throat or forehead? I'm trying to I don't know, do carvers. <laughs> we can do carvers, I'll do carvers, Mickey does and and you do creators. Yes, and, we'll, and it'll yes. be the cutest little picture when we all have to touch skulls to make sense of what we did to ourselves. <laughs> while we're in line at the homeless shelter because none of us can have a job anymore. <laughs> I will definitely do the ampersand because uh, I, I love the ampersand. It's, it's, oh, it is, it is, it is exquisite. Most creative, yes, it's most creative, so there Yes, you but you'll also look like a guy that was drunk and said, make me look like Charles Manson, and the guy had no idea who Charles Manson was, and you showed yeah, him exactly. a blurry picture. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, ah, close enough. Yeah, Amper, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, the guy in the middle with the braids and the bad breath, that's Willie Nelson. That's <laughs> that's my favorite joke. <laughs> that's so. awful. I'm, I'm sorry, kids, and sorry, Mom, if you're watching. <laughs> so, Alexander, you're tattooing right now. That gun is super silent. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Because I think you just remember tattoos from like 20 years ago, right? Like with the big machines uh, and uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah, but it's it's not like that anymore. Like it's a well, you can have you can still use a coil for sure. Like it's a it's a good machine. But now we have like pen uh, like this, wow. and it, we can go on for 10 hours uh, with the same battery on, and uh, it's amazing. It's amazing, and wow. you have like the bench. The ink, the everything is now upgraded. Next level. Yeah. Wow. Technology so, is is in with tattoos now. Like it's not the same as twenty years ago. Your color mm -hmm. is gonna be in ten years if you take care of your tattoos, like with a good sunscreen and you take good care of it with a good cream and yeah, you just have to take care of it. But it's gonna be people will get tattoos this year gonna have amazing tattoos in 20 years it's no. not it's not like in the 80s or 90s it's no it's not like that anymore hundreds of years correct i'm sorry oh yeah tattoos have been around for hundreds hundreds of years thousands of years, not, right? not good ones yeah. yeah thousands yeah like you think yeah. like the, they find they find ice people that had them on alexander when you said colors and stuff um with the new technology, because I recall when I got one years ago, but they would have to like change out the needle or, or clean it all out just to get one different additional color. Is it the same way now, or is, can you just like swap handles or guns or something like that and do a different color? Well, usually I'm working with maybe like uh, four or five different needles, uh, but of course you can clean it. You can clean your needles while you are working with different colors, but. Oh, okay. um, don't need you don't need many usually like maybe four or five or six depending on how detailed it is and if you're doing a big back piece or something you need to have bigger needles but uh, um yeah it's uh maybe it's the same procedure but uh okay. Okay. but better quality <laughs> than yeah. 20 years ago you have to That's be right. like everything be sanitized everything has to be like super spin and span you know, it's very. I would, I would hope. I, I, I totally agree with that aspect of the entire process. Yeah, let's go ahead and be sanitary. Why not? Yeah, I don't want a tattoo from a drunken sailor like we're like we're, doing. <laughs> like, we're like we're doing. Yeah. Where's like the adventure doing, there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So by by the way, are are things a drunken pirate? Is that right? Mm-hmm. The, uh, are you, the uh, drunken, uh, drunken pirate? Yes, yeah. drunk pirate. Good? Oh, boy. Yeah, it's kind of silly. Do you know any, are there any sober pirates? <laughs> uh, that would have been tougher, right? 
Yeah, it would have been. <laughs> oh, this guy, this guy's got his shit together. This, this are, pirate. Are we gonna do a, a pirate in recovery? No. No. It is, yeah, <laughs> like, this pirate is going through AA, like one of our sponsors. Right. This pirate found Jesus. He's got a little fish on the back of his ship. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. So what else? You're co you're also coming to Fan Expo this year in Boston, I I believe, right? Yes. Yes. <gasps> and yeah. yes. So that Who's will be a I Who's will be, be there. Oh. You're, you're going to be there, but I will be there as well as a fan, as a fan. I'm going to scream when I see you. So you're going to scream and faint when you're going to meet me. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but first, I'm going to stand in the line and talk yeah. you up, but seem like a complete stalker. <laughs> then when I finally meet you, I'm going to pass out and cause a medical scene, which is just going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, they, you, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. <laughs> right. I think we're going to meet before. Well, yeah. they, they will just stay. Oh, that's it. right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, months are hard. Dates and numbers are hard. We, boy, we're gonna. We'll have already met. Like, we'll be old friends by the time we yeah. see each other. Yeah. So, so when is when is I the guess. thing in, in Boston, Paul? When is that's that? That's August, August, right? I believe oh. it's August. August. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. So yeah, you guys will be old pals by then because we'll meet in June. Yeah, June's coming uh, fast. For it real? goes is Christmas, it gonna, June. Uh, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Christmas. Yeah. June. Christmas, Christmas, June. June and then October. And then back to yeah, and then, and then October finally for pumpkin. <laughs> this is this is this is our, our world, you know? Yeah. Really As is. we get older, it goes way faster. Yeah, just it's like foot on the gas of life. <laughs> Two feet on the gas. Yeah, exactly. We're stomping on we're stomping on both pedals. You know, if you do that, by the way, if you do the, the brake and the gas at the same time, you take a picture. Did you know that? <laughs> you should try it. Wow! It only works, it only works right. when you're going over fifty. That yeah, no, no, no more, no more four martini lunches for Matt. <laughs> no way. That is awesome. That was great. That's good stuff. That's a bumper sticker. That I, I read, read that somewhere. <laughs> Let's see more of Alexander's work. Yeah, I know. Yeah, come on, come on, Mick. Don't, don't. You're so, don't <laughs> it's, come my, it's my fault. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so he he's only been there for like three hours now, and he has to endure <laughs> our like crappy jokes. <laughs> you know, but the best part is this guy is like getting sewn like a, a sewing machine on his body while we're on online, and he's like sitting so still. I'm, I I'm. Know. Like, I don't know. Can you? I don't know if you want to divulge your friend's name, but um, but he's an amazing, uh, uh, I guess, patient. I don't know what's the right word. Uh, Maybe you put a mirror. Maybe a mirror under his nose or something. Make sure he's still breathing. See if he's still alive. <laughs> but like he's happy to be here. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh well, well, look at the art you've put on the guy. It's it, yeah, I, I can see right. that. Very point. Very honored. I can think oh, of yeah. worse places. To be a living work of art with my name on. Like I, I should just tattoo my signature somewhere. Yeah. Do it on the bottom of his foot. I'm sure that'll be um, very <laughs> enjoyable. <laughs> after after he falls asleep. Right. <laughs> what could go wrong? So honestly, has, has anyone ever fallen asleep while you tattooed him? All the time. Yeah. Really? Wow. Every. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Every day. Okay. So you yeah. are but very gentle. But I, I am. But sometimes, uh, when well, when I'm tattooing men, usually, well, it happens in the past. Like someone passed out for sure. It happened like one time a guy passed out, but it, it happened only one time. And then another time he threw up everywhere. Like a, a, oh, a, 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 oh god. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but usually, like women are the strongest. Like I can tattoo oh. for hours hours and hours and they're just talking and they're just having fun and they don't complain um yeah but usually guys 
the, it, it's harder. Like they are like sensitive and they need more breaks and you know, they need to go pee <laughs> more often. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't need Dude, to women, do are, women are like so much women are so much better than men i just i'm like convinced having i have three daughters and i'm like convinced from the day they were born i'm like you guys are so much better than stupid boys yeah. I mean, anyway <laughs> stupid boy yeah so funny yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Everybody says they're the softest. Every phlebotomist is the is the best and the painless. It, there's no pain anywhere. I ain't trusting anybody with a needle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell, I think I'm the truth anyway. So, yeah, I swear. Because my technique is different. I'm not using dry wipes. Like, it's uh, usually, like, most of the tattoo artists are doing, like, the dry wipes um, technique. But I'm not doing this. So, Using like a like a fentanyl paste or something to completely numb it out. <laughs> she dips she dips her leg in liquid cocaine for. No. Wait no so wait what is a dry wipe? You're talking about like a wet a paper towel like wiping away. Kind of like some people are using uh, um, wipes like Maybe that, wipe? but dry. So they are just wiping up and they are using like. Um, some kind of Vaseline, Vaseline, oh, okay. uh, but I'm not, okay. doing, I'm not using Vaseline. I'm doing like the wet <laughs> clothing wipes, uh, but it's doing miraculous things uh, because it's oh, okay. old and it helps with my color. So it's like, um, it's a different technique, but it's, I think it's good. I, most of the people really enjoyed this technique. So I'm not going to change it for sure. Cause I do care about my people. Like, <laughs> I want them to well the results speak for themselves. So if yeah, it's that's, that's a good amazing. point. Yeah. 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 So you your uh the question is uh where is your shop? I, I believe you have a long waiting list, but it's uh it's in Montreal, correct? It's in yeah, it's it's not in Montreal. I'm kind of like maybe twenty minutes away from Montreal. Um so this is my private studio. I'm gonna tattoo all over America uh, in 2023, like for at least maybe 15 conventions. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna work a lot. So people can catch me maybe in different locations. Um, it's all gonna be listed on my website and my social media. So people will know where I am. So they can come see me for flashes. Then they can come see me in private studio sessions. And yes, I'm gonna so be working a lot. So Al Alexandra, so you're you're talking about like one of the things we talked about in our pre warm up to today was like that, that a lot of this stuff is going to be, um, I don't I, we'll call it rolled out or uh, um, exposed Dude. in January, right? Like you're going to be the big kickoff for what you're doing in tattoo coming up, right? You, you haven't done it yet. No, nobody. It's it's crazy because I'm fully booked and I nobody saw anything. <laughs> so this is. I'm very lucky, you know, I'm, I'm very, very lucky. I've been, I think I did more than 300 tattoos this year. Um, wow. But not oh. anything. Just booked me and they were asking for my tattoos. So I'm really, really happy and grateful for this. But uh, yeah, I wanted to step back from social media for a bit. I just wanted to focus on myself, my training. Uh, I took some master classes in makeup and fine arts, and I just wanted to focus on me. And then I'll be back in 2023 because I'm. I have so many contents to show. I'm gonna show my tattoos. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna do so so much next year. So that's why I wanted yeah. to just step back. I'm gonna be back like very uh, strongly. <laughs> it's yes. gonna be. Fun. It's gonna be fun. But yes. it, it, it was fine to a year. <sighs> Just like focus on something else, all the videos, the views, the likes, the like it, it's it, it can be crazy and overwhelming to just be on social every day of your life. Oh, I've been God. very active in the past three years and it was like crazy. So there are so many platforms now with TikTok and Facebook yeah. and YouTube and Instagram and yeah, it's a never ending uh thing. But when you're an artist you have to do all those social things. You don't have, like, you have to go through the process of 
showing your face to the world, talking and sh just making posts and posting new stuff every day almost. So it's kind of, I was tired. So um, yeah. yeah, I can imagine. Because I have so much stuff to share and talk about. So I'm going to be like in a really good shape and spirit and it's going to be fun. So I can wait for January to arrive because I'm ready for 2023. Yep. Well, right. I, Mickey, I think you and you're probably going to jump and say this, but I'm I'm jumping your gun here. When it comes to like, we feel so uh, honored to be able to show some of your stuff before you even like kind of yeah. gone out and show it to the world. So um, again, another reason we're like best besties with you, and we're like so excited for what what you're going to do in the next year, and and then be able to actually be with you and hang out in in um, in Pasadena and Monster Palooza. And, and actually, maybe tattoo live or something. I don't know. Well, he, here, gonna... here's the ultimate compliment right here. I've never wanted a tattoo, but watching, I might think about it. Oh, there, there we go. go. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yes, I'm going to take care of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think we're going to have like a really, really original concept for June, right? Like, yeah. People are not yeah. expecting us together. <laughs> oh, it'll it's a, be it's a, it's a collaboration. Exactly. That is beyond belief. Yeah. We'll have to save a little bit for, uh, you know, posterity's sake, but I think it'll be a, uh, like you said, Paul, like some, a collab where, where like kind of blows people's minds where we're carving and tattooing and carving and creating carving. Oh. And Hey now, like, <laughs> almost, almost like uh, the name of the show, kind of, mm. almost exactly. Yes, with one of our favorite creators. So there you go. Oh, there she is. is. Wow, that looks great. Ever like I'm out of my mind right now. It's gonna be so so amazing. Now your hair, your hair uh, looks very similar to this as as it does now. So to this is probably. Wise? It's just it's, your your hair is always amazing. Like you've got you got whoever you do whoever you go to for your hair. Now I can say this being a bald dude, um, <laughs> I'm always like enamored and like how the hell did they, they, they whoever they are they do an amazing job. Yeah, like, the color is amazing. Is 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 more epic than the next. I'm I'm glad you enjoy my because it costs a lot of money to uh, maintain. So thank you so much. <laughs> This. So good. Now this is this is pretty cool. Oh, yeah! Wow. She's got oh, the uh, the baby, the wee baby. Yeah. Well, I That's never new, do. New mommy. This Amadala. But uh, she's my friend, so she, I wanted to make her like something special before she gave birth. So. Uh, and she's a Star Wars fan like me, so I think it's um, I think it's pretty cool. I didn't I didn't get that from the photo, but now that you explained it, I totally get that she's a Star Wars. I thought fan. that was Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Now, how long does something like that take? Like, yeah, because you oh, did two did different portraits. Five hours. Wow, that's oh. fast. Oh, yeah, wow. it was good, fast. So, yeah. So, mm. if that now, 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 here's a serious question. Go figure. Oh. Um, if that was, if that was ink, how long would it take you to do the same oh, thing? Yeah. Wow. This is like a very big canvas. Like this is big. So, um, yeah. my good yeah. to create something like this. It's probably <laughs> forty-five hours. I don't know. I don't know, it's so deep, it's crazy. Like to do a full leg, it, it can be like 60 hours for sure. Like it's a, um, it's a process and you have to wait uh, between sessions yeah. and so yeah, it's a, it's a process. So it can take a while for sure. Wow. So, so speaking of legs, you've got, you're, work, you're working on one, but you've done the other next to you, right? The, 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 his other, yeah. I guess that'd be a left leg. This is the yeah, Superman. All right, Mickey, uh, uh, there we go. Can we see? Oh, can we that's see what we have a photo of. Yeah, this, I sent you. 
Yeah, that's okay. the photo. We saw that one. Oh, okay. That's that's oh, that's that one. Like, oh my god. Okay. That's so all. Can- so wow. All right. So the canvas you're working on is is like is the. Uh, He's okay, the canvas. Like that's literally his name now. Is canvas. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna call him Mr. Canvas. The canvas. I'm gonna tattoo his entire body. So yeah, it, I'm I'm just gonna tattoo my name somewhere. I think, but uh, he's so cool. he's so like he, he trusts me so much. Like <laughs> it's amazing. Perfect, perfect client. That's great. He, no kidding. Of all time, he, like for sure. He seems to not really mind pain, which is pretty uh, not like me. <laughs> it's kind of but a, on, um, you have to. Like, on a scale of one to ten, like how painful it is, and he's always saying like two. Wow. Three. Jeez, like please. he doesn't really feel the pain, so that's cool. It's helping me to create a better work because when you have someone like yeah, squirming <sighs> takes you. Yeah. yeah, it's a challenge for me because I have to. Um, yeah, yeah, you have to take lots of breaks and everything. Yeah. But uh, no, he's cool. He like, he's like, yeah, number like maybe two or three. He's never in pain. Well, right now he's in pain. I think. <laughs> he's asleep. He's asleep. Don't worry. He's not listening. I think what is to keep the position. You know, it's not it's not to have like the tattoo and the needles. I think it's hard for your back and like yeah. the oh, muscles. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Be down like hours. I think this is the hardest thing. Then, the, like, yeah. it's at you process. Don't you agree? Like, yeah. No. Yeah. He's like, he's like, yeah, this is hard to sleep. Yeah, exactly. Stay. <laughs> yeah, because even when you go to sleep, you roll over in the night because you get stuck in one position or you, yeah. you, you're sitting in a chair, you move. And yeah, in this place, you can't move. That's your right. Wow. Yeah. Oh, this, you know what's even worse? Just talking about it would make me have to move. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, you're like, like when you're comfortable you're in bed hand. and you're like, oh, this is such a good position. Oh, my hand isn't, my hand's yes. been there for like 10 seconds. Ah, I had to move it. Got to move it. Yeah. He's about to do- like donkey kick you right now. Let's <laughs> to move his leg. <laughs> I'm gonna well, get, like, a he's a fan of carvers and creators, so it's it's not that daunting. That's a <laughs> good right. point. He's he listening point. on on really great banter. That's, what the, he, that's saving yeah, him right, right now. Yes. <laughs> Is he subscribed to Carvers and Creators? <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe that's part of your fee. Like, yeah. Your, your, your oh, that, I like oh, that. You know. I like that. That's a that's a good monster poser idea too. There like you that. go. There we go. I'll cook him a Crisco. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, subject is gonna be. It's gonna be a long one. Oh, look at that. See, that's a. That's a dynamite. That's insane. Uh, oh. Isn't it a good movie? Acula? Like this is a, a such like I love horror movies. I'm watching horror movies every single day of my life. So it's a love story, <laughs> Alexandra. It's a love story. Yeah, right? it is. <laughs> this happens to be in a horror genre, but it's a right. love story. Yeah. My favorite Winona Ryder movie. Yeah. It's, and Keanu Reeves yeah. too, you know, he's he's the best. Yeah, well, he's no slouch guy. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I love his fake accent. That's my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> He's so like, like, dude, He's like, so like, cheerio, fire up to you. So great. So great. <laughs> so great, good sir. <laughs> so like, vampires are like, oh, no, like, don't drink my blood. <laughs> you had it right there. <laughs> oh, no, it's Dracula. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. So he's nice. not going to be on our show now. Great. No, he's yeah. one of the nicest guys on the planet. <laughs> Unless he likes uh, the fact that we were ball busting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so good. I mean, nice. I- Alexandra, can I ask you a question? Do you ever sleep? I don't think she does. I- I- it just You just create like all day and all night. It's insane. Well, I, I do sleep like four hours every night. Oh, so you so four hours. Oh, okay. That's about that's that's yeah. what I get. <laughs> <laughs> People think I'm not sleeping at night, but I do. I am. But like four or five hours is, is enough for me. So, um, But I'm getting older, so I do think I need to sleep more now. So, yeah, I'm going to do – I'm going to be better for myself. 
in 2023. So I'm going to try to sleep. Naps. Just take naps. Four and a half. I'm going to take naps. Yeah. <laughs> can, you, can we move that to five, you know? Wow. Yeah. But don't worry, you're never going to die, so you're, you're fine. Exactly. So I was there just since the last time since the last time we had you on looking at this beautiful painting here, we had on John Caglione, who's responsible for that prosthetic and makeup. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's that's a John Caglione right there. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Done by the, the it's like seven degrees of Kevin Bacon at this point with Carbon Cream. <laughs> that's right. We are Kevin Bacon and you and you're seven degrees of him now. Yes, something along those lines. Something like that. Yeah. Off of his brush, uh, Heath Ledger was the Joker. That's yeah. right. Wow. Amazing. And that's spot on. Wow. It, and you, you, oh, you, this is on a different model, though. I, did, did, I remember when you would explain how you paint backwards in a mirror. That always, still mind boggling to me. Mm -hmm. I know. It's easier to paint myself than to paint on a model now, but uh, wow. really, that that's crazy. Yeah. So, so like, so because of you know, we'll call it a COVID-related uh, thing. But when you were car when you were creating on people for all those years, and then all of a sudden you you weren't able to be around other people, and that you just did it yourself, and then now that's easier to you. That's just because you're doing it backwards it's like the ginger rogers thing where he did every, she did everything fred astaire did but backwards and in high heels now you're doing the same thing on yourself but backwards in the mirror wow you know, we'll call, yeah. you're the ginger rogers of uh, body paint we'll call you that from now. wow <laughs> alexander ginger rogers is a dancer back from the olden days when matt was in high school <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's sorry, okay. I'm just being historic. I mean, it's, yes. it's like from a museum. I, I read something or something. It, it's oh, yeah, right. preschool. Yeah. Was it in Reader's Digest or like something like that? <laughs> <laughs> great reference, by the way. That's a great analogy. Yeah, Paul, I don't even know. I don't know what Reader's Digest says. Tell us what that is, Paul. <laughs> How would I know? I Googled it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have like 14 years of <laughs> subscription. So what they used to in, do in they used my to bathroom, in my, into in it. Bathroom, <laughs> my bathroom. That's great. <laughs> I can tell you right away. <laughs> <laughs> little Paul Harvey articles and stuff. That's right. And that's the rest of the story. And then a little deal. You know, like, all right, sorry. I, I, I divulge. I, di I digress. Maybe that's we're, we're playing to an older crowd right now. Let's go back to what Alexander is doing. That's much more interesting. Thank you, Mickey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always the MC helping us reel it back. <laughs> we, we, we discarded Paul Harvey, and now we're back to some cool artwork that's being done in front of us. Permanent artwork. Or, Permanent. Uh, also, do, we, do we have to be like done very soon? Like how many minutes do we have? Yes. Yeah, so we have about you, 15 you, minutes left. But you, you minutes. We, we can we – can, can can you expedite what you're doing? I don't want you to. I don't want you to have to feel like you're rushed. <laughs> I think I think you can go a little fast. I bet, bet if you went a little harder and deeper and scratched really <laughs> fast. Yeah, just get sure the dark enjoy that though. I don't think that even does that even speed it up. Honestly, you don't have to be finished uh, with that. You know that. No, you don't yeah. have to. But I'm just gonna like show you. Just like we don't. I'm gonna show you the final result, and you can show it in the next show. I'm, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that would be That's amazing. amazing. For sure. Yeah. I love that it's along the, the lines of Drunk Pirate, too. What were the odds of that? I didn't. I know. Hey, thank you, Wheel. Thank you, bastard. I know. <laughs> it's like a love hate relationship with that thing. I kind of like it tonight, you know, even though I hate it. All, <laughs> all the time. Friday through Wednesday, I kick it around the floor and then yeah. Thursday night, I pick it up. So, so tell You're us, my tell us one. That's beautiful. Wow. Uh, Wow. That had to be a lot of soap in the shower. That night. You know what's good when you know what's good when Matt and I we, when we shut up and look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All quiet for the what? Like what the hell are we looking at here? That's amazing. Good. We do we do that a lot on the show where I'll put something up and we're all like peering into it, oh. like looking, looking closer at it, like, oh my god. Yeah, like I'm gonna get oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> Absolutely. That looks way different, six inches closer. Yeah. Like it, I don't even know what I'm looking at. I mean, is that Mordor or is it? 
my, my glasses are all fogged up. Sorry. Just we we lose, I we think lose this, audio. It, this no. is Dracula's castle, I think. Who's Dracula? Hey, hang on. <laughs> well, you broke up for a second. Say it again. I don't remember what is. She does so many doing... things she can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> that's the point, Mick. Thank you. <laughs> I guess that's the point here. Just keep on creating, right? Exactly. Okay, this guy's a drunken pirate, right? That's okay. No, no. Thank oh. you. Thank you. Thank you. For the fifth time, that it's not. It's not a drunk. I, I, you know, I forget. I forget. <laughs> I like that. I, I see the eye patch coming in. A lot of shaking. Oh, Nick, come on, get it off. Get the camera hey, off. Whatever, dude. Uh, Put me on the spot. Nah, Thank yeah, you. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's funny when we do it with a ball. Okay, okay. So, okay. So, what, I'm going to put it on me? Like, <laughs> no yeah, one. right. There, there we go. go. There we go. Yeah, what, are you doing? what are you doing, Captain Idle Hands? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's your squad. Come on, pixels. <laughs> <laughs> I do my stuff on the Vector. <laughs> with your vector, Victor. Uh, I picked the wrong week to stop sniffing glue. <laughs> so, so, excuse me. So, you're officially seeing clients now, right? Are you like officially seeing them? Like your day, like tomorrow, you'll have appointment after appointment after appointment. Yeah, yeah. Wow. This is how it's it's supposed to be. <laughs> no, I oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm very, very happy for you. It's like it's it, it, it is your calling. It's the natural step for you. Now, are you a, now a retired body painter? Is that like? Of that. No. When? No. Will, how does one find time? I don't know. That I don't know. But I'm st I'm I'm gonna do some body arts uh, performances next year for sure, and I'm I'm gonna create face painting too uh yeah i'm back to business i told you like i'm gonna be posting contents about tattoos and murals and everything that i do like i'm gonna be annoying uh but uh <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a fun year you do so much though so many yeah. different things it's it's gonna be fun to watch you <clears throat> excuse me ramp up the content to see what you're gonna i don't know how you're gonna focus on on, you can't really. You're gonna have to actually just find balance between all the different. Um, I don't. I, I don't even want to say medium because it's 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 all on human skin. It's just how you're applying it. It's it's pretty pretty wild. Yeah. I know I'm impressed. I do think. Yeah, I, I'm. I agree. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh no 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 no! Don't! How dare you? No no no! I get to say that. You get to say. I will be able to do it all because you always have been able to do it all. Yes. <laughs> yes. See that it's hot. <laughs> well, I'm going to get daylight savings time canceled. So, I mean, that might help. <laughs> get that extra hour back. You get that extra hour of sunlight. You know, that's pretty cool. That's well, hard hard to like more more hour. Yeah. I, I don't like switching my, you know, going because I, I, in Arizona, you don't have to switch. But then, guess what? Everyone else does. So then you do. I, I, you know, switch, now yeah. I'm like mountain time. You might as well have to switch. <laughs> I don't like it. Exactly. Well, I I think that you're on the right track, Alexandra. Sure, right. Like this is definitely your calling for sure. And and who knew? Like when we first met you, I never would have expected that you would have. This is where you would have landed. I didn't expect that, so but it was fun, you know. Like it was a fun journey since the last year. So I'm just can't wait for more. I can't wait to see more. I can't wait to see. I really hope to work more in USA for sure. This is my goal. It's always have been my goal. You know that. So um, um, why don't you just yeah, move down here? You just you forget Canada. Move down here. <laughs> Please, Please get out of America. Yeah, just get, we, we call Canada America's hat, and so just come to, come to the head part. Maybe that's it. 
Who well, here's a good question. If you were to move to the States, would you move somewhere warm? Of course. To get away yes. from the weather you know. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Like Boston. Like my, yeah, it's totally warm. Totally warm here. We get the yeah. same exact weather. <laughs> no. Same thing as Montreal, but here it's even colder for sure. But I, I think I would move to maybe California or Florida. I don't know. Florida, like, Miami. Miami. Maybe not. I could see. I could see you in. I can honestly see you in Florida. I could see that be like. That'd be a big draw because, like, I mean, again, it's it's warm. It's like there's all kinds of fun. You're more of like a. I don't know. I see you as more of a Florida person than California. California, as much as it's um, you know, the Hollywood of you know all that nonsense, but it's just so. I don't know. I don't. Know. Mickey, help me out here. I don't know. You live there. <laughs> He's like. Mick. Hey, Mick, crap all over your own state for me. Yeah, please. I yeah, can't please find anything to say about crap it. On your, crap on your state, please, for a minute. Because I, <laughs> so I don't want to do it out loud you without you. Uh, years right. ago, but, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I think that you will uh, – I, I don't know. I, I'm trying to think of some other places that that are oh, – hey, Florida would be good. Uh, Alabama? Well, I, I think it's it, – there, there's also a creative hub in Ohio. Go figure. That's that's where all the that's, that's pumpkin true. carvers and all the super <laughs> are. So that that's a hub of, um, but 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 have you thought about like moving to somewhere like uh like, well I, I you know I want to say like Los Angeles, but have you ever thought about New York? So which one would you choose over like Los Angeles or New York? Let's start there. Oh, ooh, mm. right. Mm. Well, New York. York, I've been to New York City. I lived there for maybe eight months, years okay. ago. I think it's very hard. It's very competitive. But I love, I love the vibe in New York City. I love the energy and everything. But people are very, like, you know, intense. From, people are who yeah, get a yeah. career. And so it's very, very competitive. So I think it's hard. But I love New York City for sure. But um, LA, it's not my vibe. Um, no, ah, it's not. Okay. Um, it's not. It's too much. It's too much for me. Uh, there's too many sharks there. But <laughs> but yeah. I, I, I don't know. But maybe. Well, if I was about to choose, maybe maybe Santa Monica or Venice Beach. You know, like on the beach, uh, yeah. with the yeah. shark. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's a different well, vibe. Wherever you end up is going to be the right place. I agree, yeah, and you're going to fit right in, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know if you're ever going to be able to leave Canada because you're going to be booked so solid for the next decade. <laughs> so, I mean, there, there's all around the world, so I like. I don't yeah, need okay. have my house here. I can be all over the world, so I'm ready for that. I, I bring it on. Like I'm ready for that. <laughs> yeah, there's. There's super creative places like uh, Portland, Austin, Nashville. Nashville, uh, yeah. There's uh, even the even in uh, Paul. You went to New Mexico. That's a super creative place. New Mexico is great. Yeah, a lot of artists there. Yeah. So we like yeah, I like Arizona too. Arizona is like fantastic. And it actually like uh, who Wait, knows uh, the best state it, in the world. As uh, someone with a the initials MM might be uh, in Arizona sooner, sooner than later. Who knows. Mickey, Disneyland is moving to Arizona. Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse? <laughs> Mickey Mantle. Jesus, that guy dead. Uh oh. Uh, well, we, we also have people that won't let you go. Oh, that's <laughs> it. I told you. That's it. You can't leave now. They'll steal your passport. <laughs> Marla Maples. So they get you brought up on some trumped up charges, so you can't leave the country. There you go. Smart. There you go. You have wonderful options ahead, my friend. You are a talent yeah. beyond belief. Yeah. So, Alexander, what, what color? What color are you tattooing as we speak? We got. We got. I think I see red there. I'm not sure what I see, but yes, I'm into browns and reds and greens, and I'm trying to create like a, a skull. So oh my it's god! Like, Look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but like it's getting yeah. better. I think. It's that that oh, yeah. just hurts. It just hurts looking at it because I know that. I mean, <laughs> you know, anybody bangs your in their their heel on something, I'm like. Let alone a sewing machine on it, you know, it's nuts. <laughs> it's not that bad, it's not that painful. Like he's sleeping. I swear. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. 
<laughs> he's 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 a, he's a tougher man than I will ever be. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy coming from a guy that has ABBA tattooed on his lower back. <laughs> what do I have again? <laughs> ABBA. It's not. It's it's the whole, it's the band. It's not the it's not the word. It's the faces. It's all, all four of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Or is it White Snake? I couldn't tell. I can't either. I, I, I don't remember. I think it was. Yeah, I think it was. It was Wasp. Yeah. Here I get on my own is what it says. It was, it was. It was the original Phil Collins band. It it should have been Dawkin. Oh, we, we get on rabbit holes on this show very often. I'm sorry. Um, yes. uh, for those of you turning in and about to tune out, yes. uh, we're sorry. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we can go, go, go into go. Rush or Brian Adams. Uh, what, what other? Uh, right. See, Rush is, yeah, Rush yeah, is right. only three people, Mickey. Come on. Well, I'm, saying, I'm trying to go with Canadian bands here to like, oh, involve yeah, right. our guests. Triumph? Nick, or maybe uh, the Nickelback? <laughs> Nickelback. <laughs> yeah. Good band. I don't know why they are, they, are they Canadian? Yeah. Nickelback, Nickelback is? Yeah. yeah. Can you keep them there? Can we somehow get them like their passports taken away? And... Yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Yeah. They're great. Yeah. Yeah. How dare, dare you? How dare you? Well, we Sorry. Have, we, we have Bieber. Um, That's right. Oh, you can keep Bieber. Keep him there too. Please. So many great Canadians and Jim Carrey and Ryan Reynolds and Ryan Disney. Reynolds, yeah, Ryan right. Reynolds. I like great. Ryan Reynolds. All yeah. right, all right. The cast of and SCTV. The yep, yeah. Can't Candy, do that on television. Candy. Alanis Morissette. Uh, we're going down the Canadian rabbit hole now. Nice. <laughs> yeah, but and, and, well, our, our buddy Ryan Villiers is from there. I mean, there he, he makes he makes other Canadians out of wood, like John Candy. There you go. He's yeah. way up there too. Isn't he in like Edmonton, Alberta? He's like oh, almost by nor the North Pole. Like he's touching it with like, right? Like he lost it. connection because Santa Claus hit his um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. sleigh on his. One of the reindeer hit his house. <laughs> the reindeer hit his house. Yeah. Santa Claus flipped on his iPad and it took all the internet down. That's what it was. <laughs> That's when you know you're north. <laughs> uh, I'm just all in one beer. I'm like laughing this much. It's, I don't know. <laughs> No, it was the four Maybe. martinis. It was the martini. All right, you're right. The martini. Oh, there you go. Some forty-one. Billy Talent. My 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 uh, girlfriend oh, loves Billy Talent. Oh, huh. some forty-one. Oh. I didn't know they were from Canada. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, what do you know, eh? I'll say, <laughs> yeah, Bill. Yeah, who are those two? Uh, what are they? What are their names? Doug and Bob and Doug. Bob and Doug. Bob and Doug. Yeah, Bob and Doug. <laughs> now, that's a couple years ago. That was, that was, yeah. Okay, I, was like, I was just taking a whiz. <laughs> <laughs> Strange Brew. Strange oh, Brew. Movie. Great Canadian movie. Yes. Great Canadian duo. Well, Alexandra, we've put it out to the universe that we will make 2023 a reality. The synergy, uh, carvers and creators... The great Alexander Bastian, we're gonna make this happen. Oh my god! Right? Yes, hot flash. Oh. Look at it. <laughs> I just had that one. Happen in five months, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh wow! Is it is that close? That's what I, I said. Christmas and it's, it's monster pollution. Christmas and it's right right on. Yeah, I'm not very good at counting, but I think you're right. I'm pretty five, five or six months. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Right around the corner. January. Right. January. No, it's not. It's in the summertime. It's too long. Well, I, look at, listen, you, Montreal, I don't know how Montreal is in June, but I can tell you now it's not very warm yet in June around here. Really? Sure. Yeah, mid probably mid to high sixties, couple seventy degree days. That's nice. <laughs> well, because in June in Arizona, yeah, it's, sneakers it's 200, melt. It's two hundred yeah. here, yeah. <laughs> really, yeah. <laughs> the devil, the devil leaves that state in June to go somewhere cooler. <laughs> it's in the high two hundreds. Satan himself. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. So, um, 
Alexander, do you want to give us one last peek at what you're doing before we sign off for tonight? I can't believe that an hour and a half went by so quickly. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, because there's going to be something else here. Like, it's going to be Jack Sparrow doing things. I don't know yet. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be there next week. So I'm going to finish this next week. So I'm going to send you of the night. Thank you, Regis. Thank you for everything. Yes. Thank you so much for being patient with this process. This is oh my God. absolutely outstanding. What, wow. What a so unbelievable. You're going to do another tattoo between the two tattoos by next week. Of course. Yeah, yeah of course. We <laughs> have to this question is for him. How the hell are you going to walk? <laughs> yeah. I think, I think between, uh, yeah, he, not only will he, will he not be able to walk, Paul, he, he'll be uh, he'll be completely broke. I mean, you know. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, I do. I, listen, he could that he she could be tattooing tattooing freaking Elon Musk for all we know. That's true. <laughs> that's, that's who that is. Exactly. Elon. Oh, right, Elon. Did I just job with Twitter. Did I just throw up the NDA? Oh man. Tattoo <laughs> Elon Musk for sure. Like no, I, no, I'm gonna pass. On that, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, amazing, amazing. Okay. Well, if you want to see more of Alexandra's work, go to her Instagram, um, double underscore in between Alexandra yeah. Bastien. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. So, uh, absolutely fantastic work. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. You're you're absolutely one of our favorite guests. We love having you on. You are super talented, and I can't wait to see what you do the next time. I don't need under, understand yeah. like, like I can't even fathom what what you'll come back with. But um, again, Thought it's been a pleasure. Together next time, we're gonna be all together yes. next time. We'll have That's to do scary. a live. We'll, we'll do, do a live, live episode. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we do should. a live. <laughs> Although you know. You know, be really cool too is if next time you were tattooing from space while painted as a Star Wars character. <laughs> oh, that's what we're, we're gonna get you on. Yeah, yeah we're gonna get you up that. in space. That's that's the next thing we're gonna. Yeah, but, but you'd be tattooing tattooing you and McGregor. Oh, oh yeah, man. in space. In space. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now we're talking. Hey, okay, aim high. You know what I mean? That's what I say. Just Absolutely. High. Well, here's where you can find us. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok. Guys, any last words before we sign off for this week? We have one more episode next week for 2022. Can you believe it? We're, uh, you know, we're just like Alexander. We won't stop working every no. week. No. Keep on producing. It's so <laughs> weird. Thursday comes every single week. It's weird. It's one of the okay. it's one of the seven days almost. <laughs> it has become one of the seven days. Well, I would just like to say, you know, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, all that good stuff to everybody. Yeah. And uh, uh, you know, happiness in 2023. Let's hope it's a good year. Yeah. Then yeah. I got to. I'll take one thing and say thank you to Alexandra's um, trusted, loyal friends who kept chiming in and, and asking questions. And yes, I, I, anyway, we're just we're we're, we're enamored by your talent and we're, we're really excited to always have you on it and, and literally anytime you want you're, you're you're welcome here we love you uh, guys thank you so so much Mary, Mary, whatever all that you have yes <laughs> can't wait to see you in june um but we will be back here next thursday with another carvers and creators please join us live and merry christmas everyone we'll talk to you soon bye-bye